My name is Seth Noel, we're at Berkeley Hyundai, and this is our brand new for 2022 Tucson. The Tucson was just redesigned this year, and it's already won the International Institute for Highway Safety's Top Safety Pick Plus Award. It's a little too new for any of the other awards yet, but you'll see, there will be more. Taking a look at the front of the Tucson, we see Hyundai's parametric design language exposed in the daytime running lights and the grill. In order to win the Top Safety Pick Plus award from the International Institute for Highway Safety, we have features available such as forward collision avoidance with pedestrian detection, blind spot monitoring and avoidance, and on the limited trim level, the blind view monitor. And then we also have smart cruise control available in most of our models, and we have standard lane keeping and lane following assistance. Under the hood of the Tucson, we have two engine options, keeps it very simple. We have a two and a half liter non-turbo four cylinder. And in the hybrid model, we have a 1.6 liter turbo four cylinder with the hybrid battery. The Tucson has six different trim levels. We have the SE as the entry level model, an SEL like the one we see here, the limited, and then with the Tucson Hybrid, we have the blue as the entry level, the SEL Premium, and the Limited. This SEL here is a great fit for people who are wanting heated seats, remote start, and all-wheel drive, as well as standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Otherwise, we have an option for everybody. With the SEL is where you get the smart key that includes remote start one of my favorites. Higher trim levels are available with a smart park system where once you've remote started the vehicle, you can pull it into or out of a parking spot in a straight line from your key. Very handy in those parking decks downtown. With the smart key, you also have smart door sensors. On the SEL, we have this button here that locks and unlocks your doors without taking the key out of your pocket or purse. We have a beautiful flowing lines design that extends into the doors. We have available power and leather passenger seat. We also have standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in our infotainment system and plenty of other technological goodies that I'll explain later. You'll see one of the biggest differences in the 2022 Tucson over the 2021. The Tucson grew six inches in overall length, and almost all of that length is in the rear passenger leg room and the cargo space. People are loving this. We can't keep enough of them around for that reason. We have USB plugs for the rear seat passengers. We have available heated rear seats in the limited trim level. And then we have an available panoramic sunroof in the limited trim level. And if you get an SEL with the convenience and premium packages, you get a standard moonroof. You can fold the seats down from the side and they fold nearly flat. And then there's another option to fold the seats down that I'll show you once we get to the back. The Tucson is available with a few different hitch systems. There's either a lifestyle hitch, which is meant only for a bike rack, or a standard hitch, which can tow between 2,000 and 3,500 pounds, depending on how your vehicle is equipped. The Tucson is available in both front and all-wheel drive. You'll know it has all-wheel drive if you see the H-Track badge, which stands for Hyundai Traction. The Tucson has a standard rear view camera on every trim level, however, you can get rear parking sensors and front parking sensors on higher trim level models. You are also able to get a power lift gate. Um, this one does not have it equipped, but if you add the convenience package to your SEL, you can definitely get yourself a power lift gate. Another nifty feature, you'll notice you don't see a rear wiper. It's hidden up under the spoiler. Just another beautiful design feature on the new Tucson. Taking a look in the trunk, we have a real spare tire, a rarity nowadays, and 
We have a 12 volt outlet and the ability to fold the seats down from the trunk. Taking a look at the wheel here, we have a 17 inch wheel here on the SEL. We also have 19 inch wheels available on the SEL Convenience, SEL Premium, and the Limited trim level. Taking a look at the mirror here, you will notice a triangle with an exclamation point in it. That is our blind spot monitoring system and collision avoidance. You'll notice it will light up yellow if there's someone in your blind spot and it will light up red if you have your turn signal on and there's someone in your blind spot to keep you from meeting another car. On the driver's area, memory seats are available on the limited trim level. We have our rear, uh, rear seat window lock. In the SEL, you have cloth seats, but you also have power seats as part of going up to the SEL package, and that does include lumbar adjustment. In higher trim levels, including the SEL Premium and the Limited, you can have leather that is perforated and includes ventilated seats. The standard SEL comes with heated seats. You'll notice we have a traction control off button on the dashboard. And then if you want to turn off any of the other driving aids, we will do that from the driver information display near the speedometer. Taking a look at the interior of this Tucson, you notice it's got the basics, it's got heated seats. We do have a number of other models available if you want a super loaded one with leather or if you don't even want heated seats and you just want what comes standard. We have something for everybody. Taking a look at the roof console of this Tucson, we have our Blue Link roadside assistance. We also have the SOS button that will connect you with emergency services. On higher trim levels, you have the availability of a auto dimming rear view mirror, and also you have the availability of home link buttons, which will allow you to connect to your garage door opener. This is also available as an accessory through our parts department. Taking a look at the infotainment system, we have a full touch screen and touch buttons and a scrolling volume knob now. All Tucson's have CarPlay and Android Auto standard. We also have a full navigation system available on our limited trim level and CarPlay and Android Auto are wireless or wired on all of the trim levels up to the limited, which only uses a wired connection. The climate controls you'll notice are manual in this SEL. If you upgrade to the convenience package or above, you do get dual zone climate control. Underneath the climate control, you'll notice we have a 12 volt charger behind that little door. And then we have two USB ports. The left one is for connecting your phone to the infotainment system. We have a standard style out automatic transmission gear shifter. In the limited and in the hybrid models, it is a push button gear shifter. You have your all wheel drive lock mode and the drive mode selector down near the electronic parking brake. You also have the auto stop start off button. You have the parking camera button and you have auto hold, which is a program with Hyundai where if you pull up to a stoplight or a stop sign and you come to a complete stop, you can take your foot off the brake and the car will hold the brakes for you until you tap the gas to leave. We also have our heated seat buttons that you may have noticed right in front of the center console, cruise control buttons, as well as our lane following assistant and smart cruise distance control buttons. On the right, that is our distance control button. Each rectangle represents one car length that you're following the vehicle in front of you can have up to four car lengths, or if you like to tailgate, like some people on 394 like to do, you can go down to one rectangle. The steering wheel button with the lines around it is our lane following assistance system. So what that is, is if you're familiar with lane keeping assistant, that will bounce you off of the lane lines 
whereas lane following assistant uses the radar system and the camera to center you in the lane so that you're not bouncing back and forth. People who have had lane keeping assistant and haven't liked it before love our lane following system. We also have our menu button that controls the driver information display. And then on the left side of the steering wheel, we have our voice control button, our mode button that switches between audio sources such as FM, AM, some trim levels have Sirius XM available, as well as USB music, Bluetooth music, or Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. We have our volume buttons, including a mute button and our seek button on the steering wheel that will move you between tracks or between radio stations. We also have our phone call pickup and hang up button. And then we have a star button that is configurable to whatever feature you use most that you would like on the steering wheel. So you get to choose. Taking a look at the driver information display in the center, this SEL has a smaller but color one that it shares with the SE. Once you go to the SEL with convenience, you get a fully digital 10.25 inch dash. However, they have very similar features. This one has the digital speedometer with trip odometer, measuring your fuel economy and distance since last refueling and other options that you can use to track your driving. You have your user settings where you can control and customize your driver's assistance systems. And you can watch your all wheel drive work in real time and your tire pressure. The Tucson has four drive modes available. You have snow mode, smart mode, sport mode, and normal mode. The 2022 Tucson is a game changer in the small SUV lineup. If you're planning on checking out a Honda or a Toyota or any other brand, you have to at least come check one out and drive one. We offer more features for the money than most of our competition. Once again, my name is Seth, this is Berkeley Hyundai, and I hope you'll check us out online at berkeleyhyundai.com.